Hey guys, it's the Woolen 1994 here, and today I'm, I'm doing a, um, a game picker video. And um, I've got quite a few games, a couple of them for PS3 and PS5. Um, start with the PS3 games first. Um, first game that I picked up online, which is WWE 2K14. Um, although it's a pre owned copy, I bought it for 55 bucks. Um, Bought it off um, Dick Smith, which is um, a New Zealand. Used to be, they used to have a few stores here in the country, but it's only an online store now. So, um, anyway, um, all of this does include with the Ultimate Warrior as a playable character, but it's already been redeemed anyway. It's a pre owned copy. So, um, so um, this is the first WWE game to be on a 2k and it's under its 2k license so um and the last um WWE, WWE game to have that scratch logo which they use from the attitude era so um so yeah there's a side back um this game has um 30 years of wrestlemania mode um which is alone is the best mode along with defend the streak or defeat the streak mode um of course it has WWE Universe and um, the 30 years of WrestleMania mode takes you through every single WrestleMania um, about 45 matches some WrestleMania play one match sometimes two or three matches um, yeah um, and you unlock um, legends by playing 30 years of WrestleMania as well as every single WrestleMania leading up to WrestleMania 30, so um, at least this game is better than 2K24. Um, there's the co there's the downloadable Ultimate Warrior and the disc, and it's, it has Daniel Bryan at the as a re reversible cover on there, so. Yeah, um, if you have a PS3 and you haven't played this, um, definitely check this game out because it's, in my opinion, I think this game's better than WWE 2K24, so that game relies too much on DLC wrestlers instead of making them, making you unlock Legends by playing the game, so this game you can, so, um, uh, yeah, and that's that. Another game that I bought for $108, which is a bit too much. Which is Lim Enemy Front Limited Edition. Which includes four multiplayer characters and no multiplayer weapons. Four multiplayer weapons, but um, unfortunately has no code in here, so it's only the disc. Uh, it's just uh, your usual World War Two shooter. Um, Albeit, um, it's fortunately it's worse than um, um. If you're looking for a World War Two shooter, I definitely give this a, give this a pass because um, it's not as good as um some other World War Two shooters like um, Call of Duty World War War, which is one of the best World War Two shooters. Um, although um. Of course, there's also Call of Duty World War Two, um, which is an okay World War Two shooter, but um, those two games are under a Call of, under the Call of Duty franchise. So, um, uh, this game didn't get much um, attention because um, it had low reviews and and um, to be honest, I haven't didn't play this too much, so um, yeah, I can't really say. To be honest, but um, yeah, I yeah, I just didn't give this game much of a chance because um, despite the reviews, like I said, so um, just want to 
keep this for my collection anyway so um of course i can't trade in ps3 games anymore to eb games so yeah um so yeah like i said um definitely look for other world War two shooters and um yeah give this game a pass anyway uh for the ps5 um next the first ps5 game that i uh well it's actually given to me from a brother which is final fantasy 16 which has the reverse reversible cover on it and um show you the actual cover here it is and the forespoken ad advertisement by the way forespoken it's not a great game by the way so uh this is the 16th i believe in the mainline installment of the final fantasy series um well its previous game final fantasy 15 is was is open world but this one is linear of course this game's an action rpg and um this game got reviewed very highly so um of course i think this game is timed exclusive i'm guessing so um of course this game has a hundred gigabyte install and and it's one play of course so um yeah if, if you're really into rpgs and and um if you haven't played a final fantasy game before um definitely check this one if you have a ps5 of course so um yeah i highly recommend it and last but not least um that i bought this game for 49 dollars which is assassin's creed mirage which is the latest in the series um brief um brief review um this this takes place before assassin's creed valhalla even though it's a sequel to valhalla so uh, this game is uh discovers basm's past and how he becomes a assassin from a street thief and this game takes place in baghdad um which is the capital city of iraq so although it's a little bit um smaller compared to valhalla and because valhalla's map is huge and you go know, different places like england norway and vinland and but this one only takes in baghdad um there's no ship combat unfortunately on this one and they're trying to re um bring back the classic assassin's creed feel to it and um I guess the only way to earn skill points is doing missions, story, especially the story missions. So, um, I've only played about three hours into this game and didn't get much into it. Um, even, even, um, this game doesn't have any DLC, so, um, they've already dropped support for this game because of, um, Sasuke Shadows comes out believe in november october november somewhere around there so yeah um if you if you haven't played any of the assassin's creeds before I definitely check this game out or play the other assassin's creed games i might do a video game series of the assassin's creed games so yeah um played all the other assassin's creed games to completion especially the story so yeah, um, and that's that. So that is my uh, video games, video game pickups. Um, thank you guys for watching my collection pickup video, and um, so I haven't done a video for a little while because I've been busy with work and shit like that. So, um. 
yeah, so thank you guys for once again watching my video game pickups collection. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And yeah, peace.